Those two look familiar. Ah, it's Ipe and Shinojo. <laughs> Guess they must be good friends, huh? Anyway, let's go say hi. Hi, Ipe. Hi, Shinojo. What are you guys doing here? Oh, it's you. Thanks so much for your help last time. I was just ordering some clothes when I ran into him. You know these two as well? Yes, they helped me and Master Kamiji out a great deal last time. I've never had the chance to say thank you properly. What about you? How do you know them? Also a chance encounter. Our Lady had them join us as additional guards for a goods escort in order to sneak out of Rito undetected. So we all know each other, huh? What a coincidence! Ah, uh, not exactly. We've only just met. We both came here to order some clothes and got to chatting. Somehow we ended up on the topic of Master Kamaji and Lady Haragi's relationship. Wait, it's okay to talk about that, right? <sighs> it's probably fine. They've known about it for a long time already. Oh, yeah! Paimon remembers those two had a thing. In fact, that was why Chisato wanted us to deliver a letter. That's old news, though. So, why has it come up now? <gasps> Are they taking the next step or something? We have reason to suspect that they'll be getting married soon. Wow, that's great! They can finally make it official! Of course, this is just personal speculation. They haven't announced anything, and we wouldn't dare to ask. I was instructed to place an order for some formal wear for a big banquet. Turns out that Ipe received the exact same instructions as I did. They're both preparing for a banquet at the same time. They're both purchasing the kind of fine wine and confectionery normally reserved for big festivals. It's hard not to put two and two together. Uh, Lady Hiragi has been in high spirits recently, and I heard she's on a diet as well. Surely it's all for the wedding. This is wonderful news! But, um... What's wrong? Oh, don't mind me. She's about to be happily married to the love of her life. I genuinely couldn't be happier for her. Right? I think so too. It's fantastic. Yes, but we shouldn't let ourselves get overexcited. What if it's all a big misunderstanding? As things stand, we have no actual proof of a wedding. Now, if they sent me out to deliver wedding invitations, that would be a different story. Shinochu doesn't look like he's taking this very well at all. <sighs> Sorry, I just haven't slept well recently. I'm ashamed to be so out of sorts at work. I'm not living up to my responsibilities, either to the Kanjo Commission or to my lady. Are you worried about their wedding? Not exactly, it's just everything feels kind of up in the air until they make it official. <sighs> I get what you mean, I really do. We need this wedding to be set in stone before the celebrations can really begin. What should we do? Should we just straight up ask them? I don't know, that seems a bit rude. Right, if Ayaka knows about it, that means it's a sure thing. I, I don't think it's a good idea to bother the Yashiro Commission about this. Fine. He and Ayaka are practically best buds. There's nothing to worry about. I see. Then, thank you. Thank you very much. Having a definite answer will stop my thoughts from running wild. Let's go to the Kamisato estate! This place impresses me every time I come here. It's so magnificent, but still so elegant. We'll just wait here. We don't want to cause any extra trouble for you. Ayaka wouldn't mind. Honestly, even if we did come with you, we wouldn't know what to say or do once we were inside. <laughs> so we'll just leave you to it. All right then, we won't be long. Without looking at the board, you've ruined my strategy in one move. Amazing. Hmm. Now what should I do next? Ayaka, Toma, it's us! Huh? <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. 
if you're looking for my lady, I'm afraid she's not here right now. Oh? Huh? That voice. Toma, would that happen to be the Traveler? Uh, yes. <laughs> Greetings, Traveler. Ayaka speaks of you constantly. Finally, today is the day. I am head of the Kamisato clan and Yashiro commissioner, Kamisato Ayata. Greetings, both. I have long been indebted to you on my sister's behalf. Finally, I have the chance to express my profoundest gratitude to you in person. Ayaka is out today. If you are here regarding anything related to the Kamisato clan, you are quite welcome to discuss it with me instead. Oh, I... Uh, hi! Your flattering words... flatter us. Um, <laughs> please excuse the suddenness of our visit, for it is most improper etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> Why on earth are you talking like that? Well, he seems like a pretty powerful person. He's already working his way up Paimon's list of people to never mess with. Look, as soon as he stands up, the whole atmosphere in the room changes, and it feels like you gotta be super polite. <laughs> you shower me with praise undeserved, my little guest. There is no need to be quite so formal. This is a private residence, so please, relax. Oh, good. Cause that whole spiel was really tiring just now. All right, now that that's over, Paimon's just gonna ask the question. We heard a rumor that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato are gonna get married soon. Do you know anything about that? Oh? I wouldn't have thought you'd heard about that yet. I see. Well, it's true. It wasn't long ago that I received the news myself. The head clans of two commissions are to become joined through marriage. This is big news for the whole of Inazuma. Since the Yashiro Commission presides over cultural and ceremonial affairs, it closely involves us, too. Yes. And since the commissions are kind of the face of the Almighty Shogun to the masses, this wedding is one that we have to treat as a serious affair. Right! Makes sense! Ah, oh, two true lovers becoming husband and wife. What a happy occasion. It is. High-profile matrimonial links between two commissions are extremely rare. But these two truly love each other. Tradition should give way to freedom in this case. All right, then. I'll be sure to pay them a visit to send the best wishes of the Kamisato clan. Hmm. No need. I'll visit them personally this time. Huh? But you have other things to be doing. This is a marriage between the Kujo clan and the Hiragi clan. The Kamisato clan must demonstrate an appropriate level of respect. The work of the Yashiro Commission is indeed multifarious. Normally, weddings and other ceremonies would come under the supervision of my sister. But she is presently occupied with other matters, and I happen to have a little time to spare. This will be a good chance for me to... Pay a visit to the bride and groom. Oh, and would you two care to join me? I presume you two have a special connection with the individuals in question, or you would not be quite so interested in this matter. This being the case, why not come and offer your best wishes too? Or is my presumption incorrect? Not as interesting as you make it sound. No special connections here. Super ordinary ones, actually. We just agreed to help deliver a letter this one time, that's all. Uh, although, wait. Does that mean we helped make this wedding happen? Eh, all right then. I cannot thank you enough. Your mere presence shall surely mean we are spared the... Futile pursuit known as small talk. Wait, you're the Yashiro Commissioner, but you can't do small talk? <laughs> small talk is a chore. Of course, there are some people in the world who quite enjoy doing chores, but I am not one of them. Toma, I'm heading out with my two guests now. I'll leave the residence in your capable hands. Not a problem. Take care, my lord. 
Ah, you finally... Ah, uh, Yashiro Commissioner! Hmm. Who are these two? They're friends of ours. Paimon will do the introductions. So it's true. Well, there we have it. That's it then. So be it. Great, so our hunch was spot on. It is a little inappropriate for me to have shared news of this magnitude with you. So I would be much obliged if you could keep it in strict confidence until an official public announcement is made. B don't worry, sir. We, we give you our word. We won't tell anyone about it. That puts my mind at ease. Now, on the topic. We'd like to pay a visit to the Kujo clan. Would you mind leading the way for us? Of course not. I'd be honored. I guess this is where I... Goodbye, then. Aw, cheer up, Shinojo. I'll try. Thank you. All right, then. Please excuse me. I'll lead you to it from here. Okay. Thanks, Ipei. I apologize that your impromptu visit comes at a busy time for us, Commissioner. Otherwise, you can be sure that we would have prepared a more extravagant reception. I don't mean to impose, Sir Kujo. In fact, I'm not here on official business at all. I heard the good news about yourself and Lady Hiragi. What a glorious marital alliance this shall be. Given the close ties between our clans, it seemed only right that I should come and offer the Kamisato clan's congratulations in person. Oh, I'm truly honored. I hope the news didn't come as too much of a surprise. Hey there! We came to congratulate you as well! Since the incident with the Takatsukasa clan, things in the Tenryo Commission have slowly started to stabilize. I'm still acclimating to the position of acting head of the clan. I just hope I'm up to the task so I can live up to everyone's expectations. You're far too modest. The public thinks very highly of you. They say you're hardworking, upright, and responsible. Uh, I'm flattered, but I wouldn't have achieved anything without the support of my people. Thanks to them, everything is gradually stabilizing, and I finally had the chance to focus a little on my personal life. <laughs> well, you're certainly making big progress in that department! <laughs> Come on now, you're embarrassing me. Uh, pardon me, I... um... It's perfectly all right. Please, continue. I'm quite content to listen. It's a joyous occasion. Lighthearted is exactly how things should be. Really, who stays stony-faced when talking about a wedding? You're right. But I am curious to know, what's your honest opinion on the whole thing? Do you think it's... Too sudden? <laughs> of course not. Where there is true love, nothing should be allowed to stand in its way. No doubt people will offer you a, a colorful variety of opinions. But of course, you will have factored this into your decision, and I'm sure you are prepared for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Indeed I am. So, please be confident. When your mind is made up, you ought not be worried about things for which you are already well prepared. Nevertheless, there is just one small aspect of this that puzzles me a little. Please, go ahead. You've been working hard to bring the Tenryo Commission in line. This is positive, and no doubt the beginning of important change. But on the other side of this equation, Lady Hiragi's father, Hiragi Shinsuke, is still in prison. If you choose now, of all moments, to announce a marriage between the Hiragi and Kujo clans, the kinds of rumors that may begin to spread both among the general public and in the Kanjo Commission are not likely to be in either of your best interests. Yeah. Couldn't have put it better myself, Sir Kamisato. This has been my biggest concern for quite a while now. Hiragi Shinsuke is firmly against me having any contact at all with Chisato. In the past, we've always had to communicate in secret by sending letters. So although now may not look like the best timing for this marriage, it may well be the only opportunity we have. Oh, that guy? Yeah, he acts like this sweet old man, but he was determined to make as much trouble for us as possible. Oh, he is the worst! I can see where you're coming from. 
but you're only postponing the problem, not solving it. You will still have to face it sooner or later. <sighs> yes, I'm well aware of that. But since Chisato had the courage to ask me to marry her in spite of everything, how can I disappoint her? Well, sort of. She raised the idea in a letter, and after some initial hesitation, I went to meet her and have a serious conversation about our future. It's funny, actually, because when I formally proposed to her in person, she denied having ever written that letter. Ah, so coy. Huh? Really? She didn't say. She just acted confused by the whole thing. She really committed to it. I'll never forget the look on her face. Oh. Anyway, as her boyfriend, I knew she was just pretending, so I played along and said, Ah, I was only joking about the letter, and then I proposed. After making some disgruntled noises about me making a stupid joke, she blushed and said yes. We spent that afternoon working through all the details of the wedding. Okay. So you discussed it and decided on a date? We did. I guess it was a chance to finally express our commitment to one another, clearly and completely. And you know what? I think it was about time. No matter what happens next, I will always be there for her as the one person she can always rely on. Oh, give me a break. Sorry, but Paimon's been wanting to say this the whole time. Is it just this dude, or does everyone in love act like this? He just won't stop talking. Uh. Apologies, my friends. And also to Sir Kamisato. I must sound like a fool. Far from it. On the contrary, seeing you so positively smitten puts my mind at rest. No surer evidence could there be of your true feelings and your commitment. If I had any reservations before, I certainly don't now. I wish you a joyous wedding when the day comes. Yeah, even if it's kind of irritating to see you all smug like this, it's still a happy occasion. Good luck on the day, and have a happy wedding! Thank you all. It means a lot. We have some other business to attend to now. Until next time. Very well. I'll see you out. He seems busy. That must be true for anyone about to get married, right? It's a happy kind of busy, though. You're right. Kujo Kamaji is on Cloud Nine. What do you think, Traveler? He chalked it up to her being coy, but... That doesn't sound like the Hiragi Chisato I know. It bothers me also. But, unfortunately, attempting to seek the truth of the matter would likely be fruitless. Yeah, how come? Whenever we come across stuff like this on our adventures, we always find a way to get to the bottom of it. I see. So that's how adventurers think. In my opinion, we face two obstacles in this case. Firstly, we have very little information to go on, and I must be cautious about taking a stance. This makes it difficult to investigate. Secondly, and more importantly, the person involved doesn't seem to care. If we intervene without his blessing, good intentions may lead to catastrophic results. You do have a point. Kamiji doesn't seem worried at all. Everything in the world is intertwined. What looks like a simple outcome is often the result of multiple conflating reasons. Seeking the full truth would be a long and laborious process. It would be inefficient. Sort of. I have to take this approach, or the work of the Yashiro Commissioner would never be done. My opinion is something like this. When something strange happens, instead of trying to find out what could have caused it, it is better to look at the situation itself. If the outcome is positive, and no one was deceived or harmed in the process, then it is acceptable. We don't know yet. After all, we don't know what Hiragi Chisato's thoughts are, do we? I have to say, I'm impressed by your ability to zero in on the issue from such a short meeting. Most insightful of you. 
You are thorough and thoughtful, just as my sister describes. Huh? But Chisato and Kamiji have already talked everything through, haven't they? Only if we are to take Kujo Kamiji at his word. But there are two sides to every story. I wish to know Hiragi Chisato's angle on this. Huh. Makes sense, but Paimon still doesn't quite get it. Don't worry about it. I was planning to visit the Hiragi clan to deliver my best wishes anyway. Let's take the opportunity to hear her thoughts. If she's as committed as Kujo Kamiji, perhaps they can navigate the challenges ahead successfully. But if not... Well... Life isn't always a smooth journey. There is still much to prepare for the wedding. Hmm... Should we also invite some prominent business leaders who frequently visit Rito? Hmm... At the very least, we should send them invitations. I agree. Ah, hello there, Yashiro Commissioner. To what do we owe the honor on this fine day? As it happens, I'm here regarding the same wedding I believe I heard you discussing just now. I come bearing the felicitations of the Kamisato clan. Would Lady Hiragi happen to be available at this moment? Our lady is entertaining guests right now, and we're not entirely sure how long she will be. But please, do come in. We will arrange some tea and snacks for you and your attendants. Hey! Paimon is not an attendant! <laughs> you misunderstand. These two are dear friends. <laughs> You're too kind. We don't wish to impose. We'll just wander around in the general area. Apologies for the interruption while you're busy with preparations. Please, let us know once Lady Hiragi is available. Nonsense, Commissioner. No imposition at all. This wedding is a joyful occasion, and all the other clans who serve the Hiragi clan are most delighted for them indeed. We're merely doing the best we can to make this wedding as grand an affair as possible. When the time comes, we'll invite everyone in the clan and even the general public to attend. That sounds splendid. We'll leave you to it. Take care, Commissioner! Oh, it's Toki! Ah, it's you! Good to see you again. Seems like you're always showing up with a VIP in tow. Oh? So you know the owner as well? Yep, we tried his dongle milk a while back with the almighty Shogun in Inazuma City! Ah, I see. So you were involved in that. I'd caught wind of this dongo milk, but I didn't know that it had anything to do with you two. <laughs> I always order one of his creative drinks whenever I pass the stall. The flavor is always new and interesting. When I noticed he'd set up shop in Rito, I simply had to come by. Oh, thanks to you all, my business is finally beginning to take off. More and more people are willing to give my creative cuisine a shot. It gave me the confidence to decide that I'm going to stick to creative cuisine from now on. On the one hand, I wanted more people to be able to try out my culinary creations. On the other hand, I wanted my customers to experience the joy of being creative too. So I gave it a lot of thought and finally came up with an all new business concept. Sounds interesting. What is it this time? I've decided to give complete creative control to the customer. I offer all sorts of ingredients, and they pick and choose whatever they want to mix with their milk or tea. As well as dango, I now offer rice cake, purple potato balls, black sugar, and sunsetia. Do they really all go well with milk? Hmm, hard to imagine, but who knows? It could be delicious. What if I were to choose some ingredients you don't have here? Would that be okay? Uh, well, I, I guess so. Any novel ideas you have, Commissioner, please feel free to tell me. I'll go buy the ingredients right away. The whole idea was to let my customers express their creativity freely. So, of course, I shouldn't place restrictions on the ingredients if I can help it. <laughs> Excellent. There are a few things I'd like to try. Lavender melon, seagrass, and sea ganoderma. Uh, what? You want to mix those with milk? I do indeed. Why? What's wrong? You really think that's gonna turn out tasting good? It's all about the experience. The taste is secondary. 
It's great to try new things. Traveler, any thoughts? Three milks with sea Ganoderma, please. Huh, no problem. Give me a second, I'll have them ready in just a moment. Here, your milk is ready. Give it a try. <laughs> Somehow Paimon got it down eventually, but... Oh, Paimon feels lightheaded. I think it's all right. It has quite a... Fascinating texture. Your reviews seemed pretty positive, but Paimon still thinks there are better combinations. Taste is your key concern, yes? Obviously! Tasty food and drinks are some of life's most important pursuits! Well said. If I could say the same was true for me, I believe I'd be a very content man. Yes. No one has unlimited energy. And I try to conserve mine for the things that really count. To create some mental breathing room, I try not to overthink the less critical matters. Having my sister attend public events in my stead and having Toma as housekeeper has also been a great help and allowed me to focus. We're just passing the time here though, right? Is there anything else to think about than what we're doing right now? One or two things. Let's continue this discussion somewhere else. I noticed something before we left the Hiragi clan's residence. No, it was just a small detail. I was curious to know their thoughts on the wedding, so I asked them about it. Naturally, they responded that all other clans are happy for the Hiragi clan. But that's not the truth. What do you mean? Hiragi Shinsuke is still in prison, meaning the Kanjo Commission is the least stable in the Tri-Commission. Hiragi Chisato is the sole remaining pillar of her clan, but now she plans to marry into the Kujo clan. If I belonged to one of the assisting clans to the Hiragis, I would not be feeling optimistic about the future. But they didn't mention a word about that. They simply said they were delighted for them. These are not unintelligent people. I highly doubt it is because they simply do not realize. I imagine they didn't want to discuss family issues in front of outsiders. But still, the more I think back over that conversation, the more it doesn't sit right. Keep a close eye on them, Hisashi. Yes, sir. Whoa! Where did you come from? This is one of my most trusted members of the Shumatsuban. He's been quietly watching out for us this whole time. Merely doing my duty, sir. Keep a close watch on the clan representatives we met today. Well received. I'm on the case. Oh, and I almost forgot. That milk I just had? Please order one more and deliver it to Toma. As you wish, sir. Oh no, poor Toma. Sir Kamisato, Lady Hiragi's previous engagement is now concluded. She's waiting for you in the courtyard. Thank you kindly. Let's go and see Hiragi Chisato. Hi! Nice to see you again, Chisato! I heard that Sir Kamisato had brought some guests, but I didn't know it was you two. It's been a while, Lady Hiragi. How have you been faring? This is a rare privilege, Sir Kamisato. It is not often that I have the chance to meet you, let alone here in the comfort of my own home. I'm doing very well indeed, thank you. You must be so busy. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and congratulate Kamaji and I. It really means a lot. But of course. The Tri-Commission are the servants of the Shogun, and we should look out for one another. In fact, we visited Sir Kujo just now. It's clear that he's very much looking forward to the wedding. Perhaps his joy is infectious, for I am now feeling rather elated myself. I sincerely wish you a joyful wedding and a blissful marriage. <sighs> Thank you for your kind words. <clears throat> this was not an easy decision to make. 
we will both have to work harder from now on. I'm sure the news will cause something of a stir. But come what may, we will stand as one and face whatever the future throws at us, together. Sounds like things are pretty tough for you, Chisato. Yes. Um, to be honest, I'm still a little nervous about it all. But Kamaji has been so supportive. His promises have comforted me a lot. It sounds like you have some considerable reservations, Lady Hiragi. Yes. Well, there are so many things I need to consider. In case you were wondering, I was not actually entertaining VIPs just now. I was in fact meeting with one of the Kanjo Commission's officers, Shinojo. Oh! Really? Him? Mm-hmm. He charged in all of a sudden and said that he had something very important to tell me. He didn't mince his words. Basically, he doesn't want me to marry Kamachi. He has always been a calm and contained person who never acts out of line. I was quite shocked to see him so agitated. But despite all that, what he was saying made a lot of sense. He thinks that now is a bad time for this wedding to happen. He pointed out that I am like the final pillar propping up my clan. If I marry into the Kujo clan, that pillar is taken away. There will no longer be a voice of authority in the Hiragi clan. And it could be a disastrous move for my personal image, too. It's just two families becoming one big family, though, right? What's the big deal? Traditionally, in Inazuma, clan affiliation influences every facet of life. After the wedding, Lady Hiragi will belong to the Kujo clan. The Kanjo Commission's attitude toward you may undergo some significant changes thereafter. Precisely. This is a terrible thing to be saying, but... I'm starting to have second thoughts. Maybe I went along with it all too easily. Maybe I allowed myself to be pushed into this. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I'm making my guests listen to me complaining. No problem at all. The Ashiro Commission has a duty to listen to you. Now that I've heard your concerns, I should offer to help you as best I can. For instance, by helping you gather your thoughts on the matter. Now, we heard from Sir Kujo that his decision to tie the knot was prompted by a letter he received from you. But we've also heard that you did not write that letter. Sir Kujo thought that perhaps you were just being coy. Oh, dear. Perhaps I should have kept that part to myself. What? But that was... It was just a prop in his playful proposal, wasn't it? It was clearly purpose-designed, what with all the fancy lettering and so on. Fancy lettering, you say? So I am to understand that had it not been for this letter, you two may not have chosen this moment to be wed? When it comes down to it... Yes, I think so. Oh, do you mean to say that this letter is not what I thought it to be? Sir Kujo maintains that the letter was penned by your hand. Huh? But then... How did... Either way, it's wonderful to see how much you both trust one another. In that sense, you could say that the origin of the letter is ultimately not of great importance. Who knows? Perhaps Sir Kujo was the one being coy. After all, he had no particular reason to be forthcoming with us about the details of his playful proposal. Hmm. I understand. <laughs> As you say, ultimately, the origin of the letter doesn't matter. But my position does matter. <sighs> Kamaji and I thought that we needn't worry about anything that lies ahead, because we can face it all together. But now, I... I think I should give it some more thought. Marriage is the most important decision of your life. Don't let yourself regret it. It is also part of the Yashiro Commission's job to help people through difficult times. 
I say this as an advocate for you personally, and for the Hiragi clan. Please, do not be compelled by circumstances to make any decision that goes against your will. To be together with the one you love is a sacred thing. It is my earnest wish that both of you may enjoy a bright and beautiful future, not a bittersweet one. I'll take to heart every word you have said to me. <sighs> I can't thank you enough, Sir Kamisato. I'll think very carefully about your advice. All that matters is that you follow your heart. <sighs> Since you'll be needing some time to think things over, we will excuse ourselves now. Oh, wait! Let me see you out. Thank you, Lady Hiragi, but there will be no need. Traveler, let's find somewhere to talk. Hiragi Chisato is on a totally different page than Kujo Kamiji. Hayato, why did you give her such vague suggestions? Couldn't you just have told her what you'd do in her position? Cause Paimon's pretty sure you have an idea. I've said everything I can, given the Yashiro Commission's stance. Interfering too much with other Commission's domestic issues will only create trouble. And the more I think about it, the stranger this all seems. But Hiragi Chisato has yet to see it. We must be vigilant. Strange? In what way? Someone wants Hiragi Chisato to be married as soon as possible, and if my guess is right, it is someone from within the Kanjo Commission. This person is presumably also responsible for the mysterious and misleading letter. Think about this. A lowly officer is greatly worried about Hiragi Chisato's future, while the heads of the supporting clans ostensibly have no concern at all. It doesn't add up. When someone's words and actions do not match, you need to infer their intentions from their behavior. Yes, it's a smart strategy. Far superior to the one adopted by the Tenryo Commission's Takatsukasa clan. Even had the forged letter failed and been seen for what it was, there would have been no repercussions. They could simply have explained it away as a misguided but well-meaning matchmaking attempt by a member of the family. But if the letter were to achieve its goal as it has so far, the perpetrator would successfully weaken the Hiragi clan without ever having to lift a finger against them, all under the guise of simply encouraging a wedding. With Hiragi Chisato having married into the Kujo clan and the head of the Hiragi clan in prison, challenges to the Hiragi clan's leadership would begin to emerge throughout the ranks of the Kanjo Commission. Eventually, another clan would take the Hiragi clan's place. Actually, we have evidence. His name is Shinojo. Shinojo? Hmm. He should be back by now. Yes, sir. I'm gonna deal with this. Did they take one of the Kanjo Commission officers away? Yes. His name is Shinojo. As I expected. They cannot afford to let this opportunity pass them by. They have to act now while the Hiragi clan is at its weakest. Hiragi Chisato had been persuaded by Kujo Kamaji, and the wedding was sure to go ahead. But after Chisato's meeting with Shinojo, she began to have second thoughts. In their eyes, Officer Shinojo has interfered with their plan. But why did they suspect him and not us? Someone was eavesdropping on our conversation with Chisato the entire time. That's why I was a little reserved. <gasps> no way! Whew. Lucky Paimon didn't say anything stupid! <sighs> but Chisato got what you meant about the letter though, right? I think so. But whoever is behind this will not allow their plan to fail now. They will not be inclined to respect Hiragi Chisato's own wishes. Her stance was so passive that she was easily manipulated. Treated like a pawn with even her marriage becoming a battleground for political power play. Despite all of this, she still believed that a happy future was awaiting her. When she formally marries into the Kujo clan, she will lose her title as daughter of the Hiragi clan, her position in the Kanjo Commission, and above all, her independence. Huh. Marriage is such a trap. Easier said than done. The perpetrators are manipulating everything from the shadows. 
letting unsuspecting pawns do their work. This is what makes their approach so smart. We, meanwhile, are out in the open. If we attempt to stop this wedding from happening, we will become the villains of the story and face immense public backlash. Uh, so what are we gonna do? At this stage, if the perpetrators wish to maintain control over the situation, their only option is to come out from the shadows and bear their fangs. I will wait for that moment to arrive. But first things first, we must go and rescue Shinojo. He has done nothing wrong and does not deserve to be punished. Tell me where Shinojo is. We'll head off right now. What are you doing? Release Shinojo this instant! Stop this at once. It's the Yashiro Commissioner. <sighs> well, we take orders from our master. No one else. Really? Then please, excuse me. Blast! Let's go! We must report to Master right away! Hey! Get back here! No need to follow them. We need bait to catch the fish anyway. Leave them be. I think I saw a key fall to the ground during the fight. Let's free Shinojo first. Mm, but... In all the chaos, it must have been kicked to one side. Hmm. Where did it end up? What the? It's a tanuki? Oh, do tell Paimon that the tanuki took it! Let's follow it and see. Thank you. Thank you. It was terrifying. They said they were gonna throw the cage into the sea with me still inside. Oh, wait! You have to listen to me. Lady Chisato's wedding. They... It's all part of a scheme. Someone's trying to use the wedding for their own ends. Calm down, Shinojo. It's okay. We know about all that. Huh? Our suspicions were roused to this possibility, and so far, everything is unfolding rather as we expected. Those behind this plan are not going to give up easily. Their next move is imminent. We must defy sufficient countermeasures. Yashiro Commissioner, you're personally going to take action? This situation has consequences for the whole Tri-Commission, and the stability of all Inazumas at stake. My hitherto neutral stance ends now. The Almighty Shogun has always despised these pathetic power games. As a Commissioner, I am a servant of the Shogun, and it is therefore my duty to handle these tiresome matters on her behalf. Hmm, that's true. Shinojo, don't return to your post yet. Find somewhere safe and stay hidden. Traveler, Paimon, let's get out of here. Well, if it isn't the Yashiro Commissioner. I hear you showed up here with no explanation and attacked my men. You wouldn't happen to be carrying out some sort of secret mission, now would you? I heard that someone was taking the law into their own hands. As a responsible official of Inazuma, I could not in good conscience stand idly by. Shinojo may be your retainer, but the law does not grant you the right to abuse him. Abuse? Nonsense. I was just teaching him a lesson. Out of nowhere, a low-ranking officer decides to barge in on Lady Haragi and start spouting out the most absurd and insulting nonsense one can imagine. A truly egregious loss of decorum. I dare say, the poor lady was terrified. So, you're saying that you know absolutely nothing of the reasons for his actions? Because otherwise, why would you describe it as out of nowhere? Two people from two different clans are getting married. That's all there is to it. And yet this young gentleman took it upon himself to fabricate a nonsensical disaster story around it. How should I know what he was thinking? Even if she marries into the Kujo clan, Lady Horagi will always be the daughter of the Horagi clan and the most distinguished member of the Konjo Commission. We are, and always will be, her loyal assistants. It's our duty to see that she never has to worry about anything. Loyalty and duty are our guiding principles. Not only did this guard show no regard for either, he went out of his way to upset a lady. How could one do such a thing? Even if we put it down to a rare moment of impulsivity, 
I have to say, I'm surprised to see one of such noble standing as yourself rushing to his defense. Darn it! This guy is good. Annoyingly good. Funny. I'm suddenly reminded of an anecdote I'd like to share with you. There's not been a dull moment since I took up my post in the Yashiro Commission. Every day I've been exposed to new and fascinating things. For instance, a merchant from abroad once told me about a curious kind of bird with the most extraordinarily long tongue. So long, in fact, that you can tie two knots in the portion of it that extends out of its beak. I'm sure someone as erudite as yourself could be able to guess what people do with these unusual avians. Uh, keep them as pets. <laughs> You'd think, wouldn't you? Mm, but there's a catch. You see, this bird is of no use to humans whatsoever, and certainly doesn't make a suitable pet. If you catch one, the best thing you can do is actually cut its tongue off and throw it out of the window. The reason they give is this. The longest tongue has the most to say, but don't be deceived as it chirps away, lest the song it sings lead you astray. You... I say, Yashiro Commissioner. Are you here simply to mock the Kanjo Commission? Far from it. In my mind, the Kanjo Commission is made up of honorable individuals, upright and forthright, conscientious and loyal. It is unbecoming of such people to resort to lies, deception, and filibustering, all as part of a plan to remove Lady Hiragi from her position in the Kanjo Commission. Yashiro Commissioner, please don't make accusations without any evidence. The evidence is standing right in front of me, is it not? I have a credible witness who can confirm you were quick to try and make him disappear as soon as he said something that you did not like. Ugh, dear me. I can't believe the Grand Matsura clan is now represented by... someone with less of a sense of loyalty than even an ordinary servant. You studied hard and took a government position, only to make it to where you are now just to play these petty power games behind the scenes. I'm not sure whether it's because you're smart enough to play the system, or too foolish to know any better. In your years of service to the Shogun, not only have you managed to glean nothing good from the people around you, you have also let yourself be blinded by self-interest. And now you have ruined your once bright future. I'm not angry, Mr. Matsura. I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> Is that right? Then tell me, if you're so bright, what exactly do you think you can do to me? This is at most a Conjo Commission issue. We'll handle this amongst ourselves. You are reaching rather outside of your bounds, Yashiro Commissioner. If you seek to involve yourself in other clans' affairs, might I be so bold then? as to question your motives in doing so. I think you are simply opposed to an alliance between the Kanjo Commission and Tinryo Commission, because the new balance of power in the Tri Commission would be a threat to you personally. So you come here with an elaborate excuse to try and break up this marriage. Hmm. So, that's how you view it. Well, I have to admit, you clearly are far more talented than I at monitoring the power balance within the Tri-Commission. Let me be crystal clear. This wedding is going to happen, and nothing is going to change that. The notices have already been sent out. All of Inazuma City knows about it now. Most of the public weren't aware that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato were courting. But you can bet it's all anybody's talking about now. Once the notices go out, that's it. The wedding is a sure thing, even if it hasn't happened just yet. Hmm. I see. It seems like I was wrong. <laughs> so suddenly we see eye to eye? I had expected you to at least be smarter than most. Um, but it seems that I was gravely mistaken. Kami Sato Ayato! You! How dare you! You've made your move. Now, I suppose it's time I made mine. What do you mean? Do you seriously think this marriage will bring the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission together? 
Isn't it at all possible that the Kanjo Commission becomes marginalized as a consequence of this union? Hmm. Goodness me. Well, I've learned a great deal from talking to you. That will be all for now. If you would excuse me, I shall take my leave. Hey! Hey! What was all that? Paimon didn't follow at all. They had their scheme, but fortunately I was prepared. As I said, they ended up coming out from the shadows and revealing themselves. Let's see how things are in Inazuma City. Then, I'll take you through the details of my plan. Hmm. Look at this. The daughter of the Kanjo Commission's Haragi clan, and the master of the Tenryo Commission's Kujo clan, are getting married. <laughs> Sounds like an all-around perfect match, don't you think? For sure. I'm just surprised. It seems very sudden. I hadn't heard a single word about it until now. Good luck to them, I say. I'm sure it must have been a hard decision. Welcome. I just heard that the news of my wedding has been officially announced. It seems so sudden. I wasn't ready yet. Yeah, about that. Um, it's kind of complicated. I see. So someone's trying to take advantage of our marriage. If you proceed with the wedding, the repercussions for you are likely to be minimal. But we must take Lady Hiragi's situation into consideration. I've previously considered this possibility. But in the end, we're getting married for true love. And I've promised to her that I'll do everything in my power to protect her. I understand where you're coming from, but to be frank, she should not need your protection. Or, to put it another way, you have tacitly admitted that Lady Hiragi will need your help to get through the hard times ahead, which perhaps suggests that, deep down, you realize all she stands to lose. I... I don't mean to criticize you. It is natural to want to protect our loved ones. You're an intelligent and gentle person, and I'm sure you would have been able to think about this more objectively were you not so emotionally involved in the situation. I'm sure you admire Lady Hiragi for being the independent, gentle, resilient, and strong-willed person she is. For the sake of marrying you, this wonderful woman will become someone who has to depend on you for the rest of her life. Are you really okay with that? Uh, I love her with all my heart, and would do anything to make her happy. That's why I cannot abide to see her suffer or be manipulated by other people. Yashiro Commissioner, you're right. It was naive and selfish of me to take things this far. But it's too late now, isn't it? There are notices everywhere. I have a plan, but it needs a villain. Sir Kujo, in order for my plan to work, you and I must both play the role of antagonists. But it is not without its risks. Are you willing to help? If there's a way to salvage this, then let's hear it. I've told the people at the Kanjo Commission that the marriage isn't going to unify the Kanjo Commission and the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> On the contrary, it's a terrible idea that will marginalize the Kanjo Commission. The context for this is that they are planning to use this marriage to bring down the Hiragi clan. And the key to their success is coming up against no resistance to the marriage from the Tenryo Commission. But what if we were to imagine for a moment that since the affairs of the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo Commission has been planning to make a move against the weakened Kanjo Commission. The only reason you have been hesitant to act since taking over the Tenryo Commission is because you care about Lady Hiragi's feelings. And so, your plan is to liaise with the Yashiro Commission, to marry her and bring her out of the Kanjo Commission as soon as possible. Once that is achieved, as the person in charge of the Tenryo Commission, you no longer have any reason to hesitate. I see. This is an ingenious plan. It takes advantage of the situation perfectly. Exactly. Our purpose is to change Lady Hiragi's position from an unnecessary burden to an indispensable asset. By doing so, we can even strengthen her position in the Kanjo Commission. Once our adversaries realize how the network of connections behind the scenes really looks, they'll do their utmost to stop this wedding from happening. Then... We simply leave them to clear up the mess they've created. Got it. Uh, so 
the network of connections. Oh, this is all way too complicated for Paimon. Can you just tell us what you need us to do? We have to make sure that the behind-the-scenes story comes to the attention of our dear friends in the Kanjo Commission. Matsura, with whom I spoke earlier, will now be fearing the worst. No doubt he'll be on the lookout for the first sign of a crisis. In that case, he will almost certainly have placed informants throughout Inazuma City. What we need to do is to use these informants as a breeding ground for our fake intel. Sir Kujo, there are certain things that I need you to attend to personally. It's almost time. My ninja has located one of the informants. Let's go and see if he'll take the bait. That person is one of Matsura's informants. Let's follow him. Be careful not to get seen. Did you see that? Sir Kujo Kamaji just came past here with a huge group of people. Could it be related to the wedding announcement? Hmm, maybe, but from the look on his face, it seems like something much more serious. He and his men seem pretty intense at the moment. Isn't it all a bit excessive for a wedding? The Tenryo Commission has sent a load of people to Rito. I guess it must have something to do with the wedding. I think in all, there must have been about a hundred people so far. That doesn't sound good. What could be going on? Ah, uh, I hope it's just Sir Kujo Kamaji being overcautious. The news is spreading fast. But it appears Master's fears may be well placed. There's no way they sent this many people just to escort the bride. I have to investigate. He ran off! <laughs> As expected. Let's follow him. Wow! It's like the whole Terio Commission is here. Excuse me, has something happened on this road? I'm a businessman passing through, and it's a little disconcerting to see this place so heavily guarded. Ah, please don't be alarmed. As I'm sure you've heard, the wedding of Sir Kujo Kamaji and Lady Hiragi Chisato will take place any day now. Sir Kujo decided to send for Lady Hiragi ahead of time, and have her live in Inazuma City during the run-up to the wedding. I see. We are here to clear the way for Lady Hiragi. Not just us, either. You'll see more Tenryo Commission members as you go further along. We're all here for the same duty. Um, isn't this a little excessive? Sir Kujo holds Lady Hiragi in the highest regard, and wants to treat her with the utmost respect from beginning to end. I understand. Sorry to disturb your work. Drat. It's exactly as Master feared. They say they're here to guard the road, but really they're poised to attack if Master doesn't allow Lady Uragi to leave Rito. Wait, no. If Lady Uragi does leave, they'll have all the more reason to strike. But we're no state to defend against a Temporal Commission attack. I must tell Master right away. That should do it. The seeds have been sown. In this atmosphere, mounting suspicion will nurture fear among the Kangjo Commission. Now, we wait patiently for it to grow and ferment. The calm before the storm is always the part that unsettles people the most. Are they really gonna own up and apologize just like that? If you're curious to find out, you can visit the Hiragi clan in Rito in a couple of days. I have some other business to attend to, so I won't be spending any more time on this situation. In any case, we've made our move. 
It's only a matter of time before they give up and surrender. <laughs> this is not my first time. Well then, goodbye for now. I truly hope that things will work out in Hiragi Chisato's best interests. He left kind of abruptly. Are things really gonna turn out like he predicted? Paimon too! Well, let's go to Rito again in two days! These people from the Tenryo Commission have been here for days now. I guess they're here to pick up Lady Hiragi. But why would it be taking so long? I heard that the Kanjo Commission suddenly said they don't want Lady Hiragi to leave. To be honest, I'd be hesitant if I were her. A crowd this size comes to Rito? Who knows what they could be planning? Shh, stay quiet. Someone might hear you. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. <sighs> How did things get to this point? Hello. How may I help? We arrived here two days ago to escort Lady Hiragi to Inazuma City. Sir Kujo Kamaji gave us very strict orders, so we have to obey. But every time we attempt to receive the bride, the Hiragi clan always finds an excuse to delay things. Since we haven't fulfilled our duties yet, we decided to stay in Rito until Lady Hiragi is ready to come with us. We apologize. It was not our intention to stay here so long. We promise our presence here will not impact ordinary people's lives. We can only hope that the leaders of the Hiragi clan will start to cooperate soon. If this stalemate continues, <laughs> who knows? Sir Kujo might give us orders to be less accommodating. How much longer does your master plan to hold them off? I have no idea. We're stuck in limbo here. Master's been very on edge these past few days. He gets irate over the smallest things and is suspicious of everything. He's been yelling at me a lot. I understand that he's anxious, but I mean, what can we do? I've told him before, never cross the Yashiro Commissioner. Yeah, good advice. With him, you just know that whatever he's doing, a lot of preparation has gone into it. If Lady Hiragi is really taken away, then what will the Tenryo Commission do? And what will the Yashiro Commission do? Uh, maybe we should tell Master to discuss things with Lady Hiragi. Oh, Traveler! I assume you've heard about everything that's been going on out there. What on earth is happening? Don't worry, we can explain everything. So, what happened was... After the Tenryo Commission arrived, they suddenly became alarmed. They keep having secretive discussions and won't allow me to have any direct contact with the Tenryo Commission. I never would have thought that this was Sir Kamisato's plan. <laughs> now it all makes sense. I'm sorry. I haven't. Maybe there's no right or wrong decision. Maybe everything would be easier if I simply didn't have the choice. I used to tell myself things like this to avoid having to think about it. But once I saw the notices appearing out of nowhere on the streets, signaling that the wedding was confirmed, I didn't feel reassured at all. Instead, I felt a great sense of regret. I keep thinking back to what Sir Kamisato said. This is supposed to be my bright and beautiful future. But what if it's not? I can happily accept that if someone was trying to take advantage of my marriage, I should absolutely refuse to go through with it. But that's not the answer I'm looking for. And also, now that things have escalated to this point, it will be tricky to resolve. Ah, oh, Lady Huragi, here you are. You scared me for a second. I thought you'd gone missing. You... Wait, you're the ones who were with the Yashiro Commissioner that day. What do you think you're doing here? Are you trying to convince Lady Hiragi to leave? Calm down. They're my friends. They're just here to visit me. Friends? Are you sure? Just friends? 
Lady Hiragi, I told you already, these are exceptional circumstances. You need to be more vigilant in everything you do. You are extremely important to us, and to the entire Konjo Commission. Who's to say they don't have a hidden agenda? If you want to accuse us of trying to abduct her, just come out and say it! Don't be rude. You've been very highly strung lately, seeing everything as a threat. I... <clears throat> Listen to me. I know all the ins and outs of everything that's happened so far. His arrival might well be your very last chance to fix this. The present state of affairs in Rito shows me that the situation has escalated well past the point where you could hope to control it. If this deadlock continues any longer, we will have nothing to gain and much to lose. This is not an order. All I need you to do is give me an explanation and take responsibility for the situation. Understood, my lady. I shall discuss with the others right away. Chisato, you handled that well. I was so nervous, but I thought things are now so critical that I should at least give it a try, and it worked remarkably well. Yes, well, let's wait and see what happens. I hope they provide a satisfactory response. We had a serious discussion and reflected on our mistakes. In all honesty, no one can handle the weight of the situation here. Everyone is besides themselves with worry. It'll drive us mad if it continues any longer. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. My actions were radical and duplicitous. I was selfish and ignored the greater good. And then I left the situation to fester. Would you? Would you please give us a second chance? For my lady's sake, Please, give the Conjure Commission another chance. I suppose you're right. The only person who can change the Tinryo Commission's mind will be the Yashiro Commissioner. We'll head off to the Kamisato Estate shortly, and beseech him to help us with the utmost sincerity. Lady Hiragi, might I ask you to join us? You are the most important person. Without you, we have no other way. Yashiro Commissioner, I'm sure you've heard the news. The Tinryo Commission has now occupied Rito, refusing to leave until we hand Lady Hiragi over to them. I realize I have greatly offended you with my atrocious actions, and I realize also that this must sound like the very height of absurdity. But please, have mercy, good sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Matsura. I'm exceptionally busy and have but a moment to spare before my next engagement. I fear this leaves no time for small talk. So, please, if you would be so kind, get straight to the point. <sighs> I know our apology means nothing to you, but we really have nothing else left to offer by this point. I'm terribly sorry. Everyone in the entire Conjo Commission now realizes the gravity of this situation. Lady Hiragi is indispensable to us. We promise to always support her. So, would it be at all possible for you to talk to Sir Kujo once more, on our behalf? You make it sound so easy. The Tri-Commission will be ridiculed by the public if we choose to withdraw the notices now and eat our words. What do you plan to do about this? To lose face for the Tri-Commission is to bring shame to Her Excellency. Are you and your associates ready to face the thunderous wrath? ...of the almighty Shogun. We... ...will take full responsibility. We'll publish a new notice and hold a conference to explain the situation. We will make sure that the public knows this was all a huge misunderstanding. We'll do everything we can to minimize the impact. Everything we can. Hmm. <laughs> ah, Master Matsura. You should have known it would come to this. Whatever were you thinking. But the Tri-Commission must always put the interests of Inazuma first, regardless of what Sir Kujo and I may feel at this present moment. 
If the situation in Rito is left to fester any further, things may get out of control. But Lady Hiragi and the inhabitants of Rito are innocent. If we fail to contain the situation promptly, the rumor mill will wreak havoc on the Tri Commission's reputation. Try keeping a pet bird. You'll see what I mean. Songbirds who know how to hold a tune can be very pleasant to listen to, but they can also become irritating if they don't know when to stop. And as for the ones with excessively long tongues, well, they're so insufferable that they can't be kept as pets at all. But it doesn't take a moment to cut out their tongues and silence them for good. Y yes I understand. I've listened to your concerns, and I'll talk to Sir Cujo for you. But I can't guarantee that he will change his mind. I understand. Thank you for your help, Yashiro Commissioner. All right, you ought to return now. I'm sure you have a sizable mess to deal with back in the Kanjo Commission. Okay, then please excuse me. Thank you once again, Commissioner. Ah, yes, Lady Hiragi. I have something to tell you. Would you mind? Oh? Why, of course. Sir Kamisato, you became a completely different person just now. It felt so intense. Unruly servants like him need to be severely reprimanded. As a commissioner, the Almighty Shogun trusts me to do her will. I did as I should. But now, I'd like to take off my commissioner hat and share a personal story with you. Oh, please. I'd love to hear it. You must have heard that the Kamisato clan once went through an extremely difficult period. My father worked incredibly hard to compensate for the grave errors made by the Kamisato clan long ago and restore our reputation. The work took a toll on his health and ultimately led to his untimely demise. My mother loved him dearly. She passed soon after. This sudden turn of events dealt a heavy blow to the Ashiro Commission. Behind the scenes, things became very unstable. Everyone thought that the Kamisato clan had lost power. That made my sister and me nothing but burdens hindering the ambitions of others. It may sound preposterous now, but I assure you that is the truth of what the Yashiro Commission has been through. Huh. Pretty similar to how the Kanjo Commission is now. Back then, I had no choice but to accept the position I was in. While I desperately looked around for powerful supporters, I endured smear campaigns and attempts to exploit me. I had no other choice. I had to honor my parents' dying wishes, and I also had a young sister to take care of. I didn't mind what became of me, but my family... No one can ever be allowed to trample over my precious family. Fortunately, I persisted, and the Kamisato clan was able to survive this storm. I think I now know where my sense of loss and confusion was coming from. Shinojo once told me that he saw what was in me, in a way that no one else did. That's why he couldn't bear to see me live the rest of my life depending on someone else. I thought the reason I felt unsettled was because of uncertainty over getting married. But the fact is... It's because I felt too young and inexperienced to handle the situation facing me. The reason why Sir Cujo was able to face the prospect of marriage so confidently is because he's prepared for anything. That's it. The situation I'm facing now is the same one he faced back then. When his clan was in crisis, he bravely drew his blade and challenged the Almighty Shogun. And now, it is time for me to make a stand and become my own person. Well said. I'm sure once you have grown and gained confidence, your father will be able to let go and allow you to decide how you want to live the rest of your life. It might not sound exciting, but this kind of personal growth is a necessary step in the pursuit of true happiness. And I'm sure I can get there. I will use this as an opportunity to take over the responsibilities of the Hiragi clan. I'll think about marriage again, after everything is more settled. This puts less pressure on Kamachi, 
and means I can support and protect myself without having to worry about becoming a burden or dependent on someone else. My best wishes to both of you were and remain heartfelt. When the time comes for the wedding to go ahead, I will come to congratulate you once more. Thank you, Sir Kamisato. I am grateful for everything you have shared with me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to deal with back home. Take care, Lady Hiragi. I'm confident that on your return, you will find your Kanjo Commission associates most receptive to your instruction. Yes. In fact, my recent experience suggests the same. Thank you once again. She really has the air of a leader now. Hats off to you too, sir. Everyone thought there was no way out until you pulled that super smart strategy out of nowhere. In fact, counter-checking is a perfectly common maneuver in the game of chess. Our rival this time was easy to deal with. He was smart, but short-sighted, and sloppy in his execution. This outcome is entirely within my expectation. Even so, Paimon could never come up with a plan that cunning in a whole lifetime. Anyway, it's kind of a relief to see that Chisato has decided to set the Hiragi clan straight. I agree. Stability in Inazuma benefits me as well. I wasn't about to pass up an opportunity to make less trouble for myself. <laughs> well, the fact is that I am first and foremost the Yashiro Commissioner. Perhaps for Master Matsura, power is his life's pursuit. But for me, nothing matters more than the stability of Inazuma. A stable nation is the prerequisite for a stable Yashiro Commission. Only then can the Kamisato clan and the other Yashiro Commission clans have a peaceful existence. But human desire will always be a factor in the equation. This is not the first situation of its kind, nor will it be the last. All I have tried to do is make sure the three parties to the Tri-Commission serve to restrain each other. Stasis is not the only form of stability. A balance of power leaving no room for maneuver achieves the same end. Another positive outcome is that everyone recognizes how important Lady Hiragi is now. I think I did her a sizable favor in that regard. Dealing with the Hiragi clan will be much easier for her than navigating a new and unfamiliar one. <sighs> there were so many things at play over this one wedding! Uh, wait a second! You weren't trying to stop the wedding from the very beginning, were you? Hmm? I thought straight away it was bad timing. Nevertheless, everything I said to Hiragi Chisato was entirely sincere. If you choose to give up your stance on something once, you'll be having to compromise for the rest of your life. I didn't want to see her suffer because she didn't realize what she was getting into. Now, she has the chance to become her own person. Let's see who she becomes. Okay then, guess we'll have to wait and see. All right. Farewell, and profuse thanks to you both. I shall have to host you at the Kamisato estate when my sister is next available. Looks like everything's resolved. Masterfully done. Everything was perfect. Well, except for one minor detail. I somehow ended up with a glass of very peculiar tasting milk. Hmm. Didn't you like it? I distinctly remember you saying you are quite partial to exotic flavors. Oh! <laughs> uh, my lord? The Traveler had one of those as well. Ah, I'm sure he's made a great impression on you. The Traveler did indeed play a critical role in this case. I'm sure both families would have been more guarded against me had he and his companion not been present. It wouldn't have been so easy to get to the heart of the matter. There you go again, my lord. Placing the focus on other people while discreetly performing your job to perfection. <laughs> Naturally. Ah, yes. Now that we're both free, let's finish off that game of chess we started a few days ago.